everybody. My name is Sue and I'm here to talk with you today and show you a practice called Abhyanga, better known as self-oiling body massage. Today we're just going to do the feet and it has many, many benefits. And if you don't have time to do the whole body, do the feet because it's a wonderful way of self-care right now. A wonderful self-love practice and you can do it every day to help calm your nervous system, help with body aches and joint pain, um, help to create more focus and a calm mind. So lots of different wonderful reasons to do this practice. It comes from the teachings of Ayurveda. I am an Ayurvedic health counselor and um, I share these practices with people to help bring them back into balance, to help bring them um, better health and well-being. Okay, so here's what you need. You need a towel to put your feet on. I'm just sitting up on a blanket, but you can sit in a chair. It's completely fine. I need my oil. So I have a special infused oil here that I got from the Himalayan Institute, which is where I was trained. You can buy it on Amazon. You can get it at places like um, lifespa.com as an Ayurvedic um, site. Banyan Botanicals is an Ayurvedic site. Um, but if you don't want to go through all of that, you can just use olive oil or liquid coconut oil or sesame oil. Any of those kinds of things will work. And the other thing I like to use with my Abhyanga practice is essential oils. And I work with uh, doTERRA. That's the company that I recommend um, because of their purity. And today I'm going to use wild orange. And why did I choose wild orange? Well, I believe that wild orange is one of the better things to use when you're feeling a little bit anxious and you're feeling a little bit like a little unsure and you want to feel a little uplifted without feeling stimulated. Okay, so wild orange and it's a wonderful smell. It smells like oranges and who doesn't love that? And then I have just an extra towel in case I want to wipe my hands off or if I accidentally drip it or something. So that's really all you need. Um, another way to look at this practice is what we call anointing of the body. And my teacher, my Ayurvedic teacher, used to tell us that we were precious, precious beings and to really, you know, love on ourselves and take the time. And so today I hope you take the time with me. Okay, so let's get started. Ideally, the, the oil that you use should be warm. And I'm in a warm climate right now, so it doesn't feel like I need to really warm it up in any kind of um, warm water. That's how you would warm it, is you would put some hot or warm water in a container and then set the jar right in that to warm it up. But I don't really need to do that. And I didn't need to take the lid off because this has got a dripper lid. So I want you to take, oh, about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of oil. You're going to put it in your hand. I've got about a good teaspoon here. And then I'm going to drop one drop in my solution of essential oil. And then I'm going to rub it together. Why am I rubbing it together? Because this is going to get it warm. So if you don't want to bother with the warm water, and then I just want you to put it all over your feet. Like you want to coat your feet. Really gener generous um, ap application here. And go up around your ankles if you like. Make sure you get the crusty spot spots. Most of us haven't had manicures because we're in COVID-19 and we've been kind of sheltered in place for a good two, we're going on three months now. And so we were learning how to do a lot of self-care, yeah? And this is what you can do for yourself. So once you get the oil all over on you, we're going to start on the tops of the feet. We're going to run from the ankle, just using my, I've got my two fingers here, and I'm going to just gently start to push down my foot till I get to the in middle of my first and second toe. And I want to follow that pathway three times. And of course, if you find an area that feels really a little uncomfortable, and then go to the next line, which will go between your second and third toe, 
following the lines of the bones and the feet. Um, but if you find a place that's really kind of, I don't know, a little uncomfortable, it feels like you should stay longer, by all means. And then go to the next line between the third and the fourth toe. And I'm just gently massaging up and down with pressure, but not too hard. And then the last time to the outer fourth and fifth toe. Three times at least, okay? And then I want you to go to your ankles and make really nice, lovely circles. You can see that I'm covering more than my ankles because my fingers and my hands are sort of on my side of my leg and that actually feels really lovely. And then change direction. I like to think about this practice. I like to take the time to do this practice when I'm you know, trying to wind down. Maybe I had a busy day or maybe I'm getting ready for bed. All right, and then let's go to the bottom of the foot. So you've got a couple choices. You can, if you're sitting, it's easy just to crisscross your leg like that. I'm gonna just hold my leg off to the side and I'm gonna rub my, my um, hand, my thumb on the bottom of my foot. Now, if you've got your foot crisscrossed, you can do both feet or both hands, sorry, both thumbs. And I'm doing from the heel down to the base of my ball of my foot, kind of like I was doing the top of the foot. Long strokes from the heel to the ball of the foot. This is a lot of times on the bottoms of the feet, you can feel little crackly, bubbly kind of sensation. And that's just excess, what we call vata, excess air. Um, and so massaging it is really a healthy thing to do. All right, and then taking your thumbs to the ball of the foot makes circles. And you can do circles sort of all over. You can do one individual ball joint at a time. I'm just sort of going back and forth. And then I want you to go to the heel and massage with the pad of your hand, uh, your heel. And I'm just going around in a nice circle. Another thing that um, this particular practice does, and whether you're doing it on the feet or the whole body, it has a really good effect on the lymphatic system. It helps to drain our lymph. And we know in Ayurveda that this is one of the reasons why we can get dis-ease. And so really lovely thing to just consider. Okay, and then the last thing I want you to do is go to the toes. And you can massage each and every toe on its own or you can do them sort of as a general whole. I'm kind of just moving over them intuitively, how it feels good to me. And if you have tender areas in your toes, a lot of people do, please spend a little extra time on them. Uh, this area here is a lot of times affected by what's called a bunion. And so just really spend some time massaging that oil in there, contemplating the sense of healing Okay, the last thing we're going to play with is putting our fingers between our toes. We do this a lot in yoga. So I want you to take your index finger and kind of squish it between your first and second toe and then move each finger down accordingly. And I want you to see if you can get all the way in there so that you can grab a hold of the base of your foot. If you can do that, I want you to rotate your ankle. Now, if you've never done that before, and you know, I haven't done it for a while, it feels kind of tight because these bones and these toes kind of get squished as we walk and wear shoes and whatever, run, change direction if you're circling with me. So don't be surprised that it feels really tough. And what I'm gonna challenge you to do is do it anyway. <laughs> okay, last thing here, go ahead and slide your fingers out. Oh my goodness, that felt kind of tight. I want you to find the point in your foot right below the ball of the foot kind of right in that indentation. And I want you to use your thumb and I want you to push there. You know you have it because it might be just a little sensitive. You can make teeny tiny little circles right there. Why am I having you do this? Because this is the area that represents the solar plexus. The solar plexus is right in the base of your um, midline of your body, right where the base of the rib cage stops and the diaphragm sits. 
And for women especially, this is an area of empowerment. And a lot of us feel very disempowered at this moment in time. So really working with this idea of um, stimulating the solar plex area. And then go about right straight down to the middle of your foot and press there. And that is the area of the adrenal glands, which almost is right behind the solar plexus area. It sits on top of the kidneys, these two glands do. And for most women, the reason I'm bringing attention to this is for most women, we're pretty depleted. Our adrenals have had to work way too hard in order for us to manage ourselves in this stressful world. And so again, thinking of healing, thinking of nourishing, thinking of stimulating, okay? And then just give it a final rub down. And then take a moment to look at your feet. Put your legs out in front of you and look at your feet and notice how they're different. Can you see how the one foot that you were just working, um, it has a, like a glow to it. And that's just not from the oil. You brought circulation and life to the foot. And so what I want to do is the other side now. So go ahead and grab your oil, put it in your hand. If you're using an essential oil, drop one, no more than two drops in there and then rub it together to create the warmth. And then let's get the oil on this other foot because it's really jealous. It wants some time. I do this practice on a regular basis. Um, I'd like to say that, you know, I do it all the time, but I, I don't. But I do try at least once a week to get this practice in. And if you're doing it during the daytime, like right now for me, it's the afternoon. By the time I'm done with this other foot, that foot is going to be all soaked in, okay? And then I'm going to sit for a minute at the end so that I can let this one soak in. And then I'm going to be done. I can walk around. You can always wipe the excess off with the extra towel. Okay, so top of the ankle. Start to gently press down so that you can get to that sort of space between the first and second toe. And again, three times at least. And once you learn this technique, it's not hard. You don't need to watch the video. You can just do it whenever you want. Some people do this practice at night and then they'll, if they're just doing their feet, they'll put socks on and go to bed. And it's very soothing to the nervous system and helps you fall asleep better, quicker and sleep better. Some people will do their whole body and let the oil soak in. They might sit and meditate while that happens, or they might put some sort of pajamas on that you don't really care about because they will get oil on them. Okay, you've done all the whole top, now go to the ankles. I, if I do my whole body, I actually do it, sit for about 15 minutes, let the oil do its magic. And then I take a shower and just let the water rinse off of me. I don't use soap. And then I pat my body dry so that I can get dressed and move on. But the essence and the nourishment of the oil really was still able to get in there. Okay, so you're going both directions, right? You're taking your time. Maybe you're getting more of the ankle and around the Achilles. Again, very intuitive in nature. Let's change position here and go to the ball, bottom of your foot. <clears throat> and I'm just sort of spreading the oil out my bottom of my foot a little bit more. And then I'm going to start with the thumbs going from the heel to the ball of the foot in those long strokes again. And I tend to start from the inner arch of the foot and move outward, but it doesn't really matter. Most people have tenderness around the arch of their foot. So spend some time there. Be generous with your oil. Be generous with your time with yourself. Go ahead and use the hand around the heel. And allow yourself to really, um, you know, just soak in this practice. Try not to let it be another 
thing to just check off your to-do list and then run off somewhere. And then take your thumbs and go to the ball of your foot and kind of massage in a circular kind of pattern. Most of us are familiar with our own body parts and what feels good and what doesn't. So remember to just do what feels good. And again, I'm making circular motions around the ball of my foot versus um, long motions on the arch of my foot. Okay, and then go to the toes. You can use your, you know, your whole hand and massage your individual toes. You can go one at a time. One of the reasons I love this practice to do for myself is because I get to actually spend time doing the parts that I like. Have you ever gone to um, get your toes done and you feel a little jit? <laughs> like maybe the woman wasn't paying much attention or maybe she skipped a step or maybe you really could have had her spend more time on something and she just rushed through it. So this is your time, baby. All right, then take your fingers in between each toe on this side. You can see I just have my, pink, my tips of my fingers in. I'm going to wiggle my hand in there real good, grab a hold of my foot, and I want to ankle circle. And this is, again, a practice <clears throat> that's not easy to start with, this putting your fingers between your toes. But it's very, very good for the feet. Change direction. And we know that if your feet are happy and healthy, Pretty much the rest of your structure follows suit. You know, your knees are not so cranky, your hips are a little bit more mobile, your spine has more freedom. Okay, take your fingers out and then go to that solar plexus spot, which is, you know, the base of your foot, the ball of your foot is here. And then there's this little indentation right before the middle of your foot. So go there and then push with your thumb. Maybe make little tiny circles. Just notice how this side feels. I like to use intention when I do practices like this. And the intention can be anything. It could be, I want to feel better because I've had a headache. It could be, I want to spend more time loving on myself. It could be, I want greater peace in the world. <laughs> I want to see happiness in the world not despair. And then go ahead and move down an inch or two until you get to the middle of your foot and then press there. Oh, that's a little tender. Again, adrenals. The first one was our solar plexus right here. Um, not, not at our heart center, but lower. And it's the seat of empowerment. And where we are right now is the adrenals that sit on the top of the kidneys and they're part of our endocrine system. And they're... Um, they're typically overstressed for most of us, women especially. Women like to hold a lot in the world. All right, go ahead and give it one more little full rub, kind of spread the oil around. And then what I'd like you to do is just sit. I've got my hands here and I've got my extra towel so I could wipe my hands off. Now, when you sit, you might think to yourself, well, this is kind of boring. But I'm a yoga tip, I'm a yoga therapist also. So we're gonna just do a quick little quiet sit here. And you could take the time to not only sit for a minute, like I'm gonna have you do, but maybe sit for 20 minutes. How healing would that be? So with your heart and your front body nice and lifted, just close your eyes. Feel and sense your body. Maybe even notice any extra sensation around your feet and ankles. Feel and sense your breath. And the fullness of the breath. And the ease of the flow. And notice the quality of your mind. 
Do you feel more calm? Does your mind feel restful or balanced or focused? Giving yourself this 10 or 15 minutes time truly is a healing act of self-love and self-care. And I wanted to share it with you so that you could have the opportunity to practice it as often as you like. Feel free to stay for as long as you like in this quiet place. For now, namaste everyone. Thank you for spending some of your time with me.